Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are going to get into the third episode of the Satisfactory playthrough. I'm just going to quickly recap where we left off last game and then we'll get right into it. Uh, we got a lot done in the last two episodes. So uh, you can see we uh, upgraded our miners into the MK1's last uh, episode. So we've got one up there and one here. This one's iron, that one's copper. And we hooked those into uh, the smelter uh, to produce uh, ingots automatically for us. Something's wrong. I got to go check it out because it's not running right now. But then the ingots uh, go over to this constructor and this is making uh, the plates for us, which is being stored in that box. And we have a similar line down there with the um, copper going into uh, uh, the smelter and then to this constructor that's making wires. But I haven't put a storage box to collect those wires yet. So that's kind of where we at, we're at. In terms of the hub, we upgraded the hub all the way through tier zero. So we completed all of the tier zero upgrades. And then on tier one, we started the field research milestone. So that's up here. These are the requirements. And once we finish the field research um, milestone, we'll get all of these awesome things unlocked. So it's going to be mostly personal upgrades, inventory slots, an extra hand slot. So now we can carry things in two hands. Um, object scanner, uh, a beacon used to mark areas of interest displayed on your compass with the color and name you set for it. Oh, that's cool. So you can set like permanent markers, kind of like when you do a scan for resources with V. Like, let's say I want to look for copper. You get a little icon up there on the radius. Yeah, right there. So that's cool. We could have like a permanent marker. Maybe it's permanent or maybe it just shows up when we scan. I don't know, but that'll be awesome. So yeah, we're going to get working on that. And then once we finish that, we'll go ahead and do these other two upgrades at tier one. So for logistics, we have the conveyor belt merger and splitter, which I'm super interested in because that's going to allow us to, uh, from a single miner, create multiple lines of parts and that's going to be super OP. And then for base buildings, uh, I'm not sure yet what we're going to do with this, but I guess you could build a large housing for all of the f the tech stuff like the hub and the this workshop and whatever else we build i wonder what the utility is of that i wonder if it later on like we're going to be attacked or something and so you need those buildings to protect your um tech i don't know we're gonna find out but for now let's go ahead and see why these lines are down okay we ran out of fuel well that was pretty easy <laughs> That was pre pretty easy to figure out, um, which is interesting because when I left the game last time, there was a, those things were running and had plenty of fuel. So I wonder if the game continues producing material when you log out. I mean, that would be kind of cool because then, um, you know, it saves you time if you're your miners are still mining while you're gone but I could see that causing a lot of problems you know it, it, I don't know if like your line depends on something and then all of a sudden doesn't have that resource I don't know we're not there yet but it is it is curious let's just grab some more leaves here we also did unlock the ability to create biomass, so hopefully that's going to help with um, this problem we've been having of running out of power. Because I think we can take all of these leaves that we're collecting and instead of putting them just in raw to the burner, we can convert them to biomass first and that's going to be a much more efficient fuel should burn slower and last longer. Toxic gas. I also need to find some food. 
because my health is low. But my hands are full right now, so let's just go create this biomass. Here we go. So we have biomass wood and biomass leaves. How does this work? So for, for every 10 leaves, we get... Oh, here's the conversion. For every 10 leaves, we get 5 biomass leaves. So it says right here that it's much more energy efficient than raw biological matter. Uh, but we need to clear some inventory slots because we can't hold on to all of that. Whoops. Grab the wrong thing. Let's put away our portable miners and alien organs. Saving that for later, for the barbecue later. Let's go back here and make our biomass leaves. I'm thinking we'll load one of the burners up with the biomass leaves and one with the biomass fuel or wood and just see which one works better. All right. I haven't really noticed when I'm picking up the wood. I'm guessing it's from like the taller, um, the taller plants that I've been grabbing leaves from they probably have some amount of like stalk or stem or whatever oh we have two leaves here but where's the biomass wood they look the same oh it's all just biomass okay got it so it doesn't matter if it's wood or leaves, they both just turn into biomass. All right, we are back. We're back, baby. And it only holds 200 rather than the 500 raw leaves. And yeah, you can see it's already, you know, the leaves themselves were burning. Let's just see how much more efficient it is. This is a nine second how long it takes to consume one fuel leaf. Yeah. So this is a nine second cycle to burn one biomass fuel. With the leaves, it's 0 0.8 seconds. 0 0.8 seconds. So let's do the math here. Nine divided by 0 0.8 is 11.25. So you're burning 11.25 leaves for every one biomass fuel. And the conversion from leaves to biomass is 10 to 1. So you can see we're gaining a little bit there. All right. The math checks out, folks. OK, so now that everything's powered back up, let's check our line. Awesome, awesome. It's running again. We do want to remove this bottleneck at some point by putting another smelter here. But again, that's going to require the logistics upgrade because we don't have the ability to split these lines yet. And likewise here, you see this bottleneck. This needs to be split so that we have our uh, other parts being made on this side, like the iron rods. Nice. We have a good amount of plates being made. So let's work on the field research upgrade. Oh, we're going to need those plates. Let's go back and get them. How many do we have? 60. We'll just grab a hundred stack. And nails. We're going to have to produce ourselves, which requires ingots. Let's make sure we have enough ingots to do that. Maybe grab a little extra here. Hot off the oven, hot off the line. And we're gonna need wire, so our constructor should have some wire. 326, holy smokes. We should put a storage box here so that it doesn't run out because we want this thing to 
constantly produce. So we need some rods for that. Perfect. So while we're here, let's throw this in, this, and we have 44 screws. We need to make a whole lot more. So yeah, screws come from rods, so we really want to try to get the rods set up on the assembly line ASAP. Oh man, we're going to be short there. Actually, I wonder if there's enough room on the mine to set up a second miner. So even though we can't necessarily... Oops, that was my alarm. Even though we can't necessarily have a split line yet, we might be able to set up a second miner and that we can just have two parallel lines and eventually merge them together. That might be the way to go right now. But yeah, we can we can make these ingots ourselves for now. Such a manual process. I'm way above this. This is beneath me. We have 240, 280. Okay, we have way more than enough with these rods. We really only need like 30 more, 20 more. I lied. We need more. Oh no, because we have 44 already loaded. Oh, whoa, check that out. Oh god. We've got ready for launch button. This wasn't there before. I guess it's only on tier one and above. We're launching this pod, baby. It's Christmas. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine referred to as the, the hell is going on up here. R&D to provide new technologies, Whoa. items, and buildings based on samples in the field. Whoa! To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object <laughs> scanner requires calibration via the cool. MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Calibration via the MAM. Whatever that means. Okay, I totally missed the part where they explained what launching a pod does, like... Um, so these were hub upgrades and now we're doing odd upgrades, I guess. I'm confused. So we launched that pod up to, I guess, our, the fix it space base that we have up there or something. And then now they're providing us with this technology. I'm guessing. Um, okay. Oh, the pod will return in. Got it. Okay. So this is like, this research has to be done up, up there in our space base. And then we're going to get this technology back delivered to us when the pod returns. Got it. Let's work on the next one because I really want these mergers and uh, conveyor splitters. So, same materials, just uh, slightly more rods and plates. Let's go see what we can collect. Yay, more barrel berries, barrel nuts. Another easy hundred here. And we're going to need a 
lot of ingots. Oh no. We don't have an excess supply anymore. Oh yeah, we also need wires. <gasps> Is that the pod? The pod's back! Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you forgot uh, you're facing the wrong direction, buddy. Oh, my lovely pod. Welcome back. Mr. Sky 2. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter Milestone exchange. Milestone exchange. So the freighter brought us back all our tech. Okay. Yeah, so we are so we got all of this already. So now okay, so now the pod's back and we can launch it again for for the other milestones and yeah, our box was expanded, so we have extra slots here now. Very cool, very cool. Alright, let's make all of these rods. God, we are gonna have to manually create so many ingots. We're not producing enough. I mean, this gives us time too because we do need 108 more wire. So, we'll let that copper line keep running. While I take a sip of my coffee. Honestly, this game is probably the most fun I've had exploring a new game in a while. Usually, like, there's all this hype behind the new game, and then I play it and I'm, like, bored <laughs> in a couple of hours. But... I feel like this one will be addicting for a long time. Just cause there's like an there's always more to be done in the game. There's always grinding that you can do to push your, your base to the next level. I do wonder how quickly it would take us though to get through all the tiers. And I feel like you can get there, you know, slower or faster depending on what kinds of things you want to explore. Like, if you want to go explore the world, like, that's going to take some time. You don't necessarily have to just go through all the tiers. Or if you want to build some crazy factories that are just, like, overproducing and super efficient, you could do that. I just feel like you can spend so much time in this game. Alright, after we get this milestone going, um, or sorry, after we get this milestone completed, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go see if we can split the conveyor belts from the miner so that we can have multiple lines for parts going because that's kind of our bottleneck right now. Ah, I'm too short. Too short. Get it? Like the wrapper? <laughs> Oh god. All right. Let's go see where we're at with the wire. A hundred and ten. Perfect. Oh yeah, let's launch this baby. Milestone. Woo! Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display oh. will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Productivity display. Well, where's the productivity display? Do, 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 do
do do do do do do do Add to do list. Normal extraction rate is 60 resources per minute. It, the extraction rate is modified depending on the resource node purity. How do you know how pure the node is? Well, this is definitely bottlenecked right now. So we can we can split this into a second smelter since we should have our <gasps> splitter. This looks cool too. The conveyor lift MK1. Used to but then how do you I guess I'm confused as to how you would how you would build something on a level two. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Like where's the input and output to this thing? Oh, does it connect like... Huh, this is confusing. Conveyor lift. Well, we'll figure that out at some point. For now, let's get our second smelter lined up here. And we need rods. Give us the rods. Yeah, see, the ingots really are the bottleneck because they take so long to produce compared to everything else. Like, it doesn't say how long it takes, but it feels like one a second or something. The other things are just super fast. Like, all the parts that you can make from the ingots produce in like half a second. Um, watch. See, these are super quick. So yeah, first goal. Oh wait, we need wire. First goal is to make more ingots. More ingots. See, how do we line this up? There it is. Pixel perfect, baby. I'd have it no other way. Okay, let's um let's dismantle this. And dismantle this because the angle's off. I think this is a better angle. And then I want a splitter. Conveyor belt splitter. And we're gonna attack. Where's the input? It's here. Okay, you can't do it directly, so. Okay, fine. Just put it kind of right in front. Then attach a line there. Oh god. Conveyor belt has invalid shape. This is all fucked up. That's probably too close. Let's give it some space. Oh, I like those alignment guide guidelines. There it is. Alright. Okay. Now we talking. Yes. And yes. Let's go, baby. Why is this thing not running? No power. Wait. Did I disconnect it or something? 
Whoa, how did... Oh, because I dismantled it. Uh, duh. We are, we're going to actually need a second power line here. Not a great setup. What do you mean invalid aim location? Oh, whoops. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Let's take that down. Um... Actually, I don't like this at all. What I want is another distribution line here. That will connect out to there. And this will connect out to here. And then this baby, connect the miner and these two units. And this one's already connected out here. So this, yeah, because we're going to build multiple constructors over here. That's pretty good. Um, and then we need to configure this to iron. And probably kind of move. We're going to have to move this because we need a splitter to rejoin them, right? Oh man, this is already getting complicated. I feel like these angles aren't right. Like if we want it to go out towards that way, we need to turn this box more. Let's place the box first and then, yeah, and then we'll, well, what am I trying to do? Okay. I need a merger first, but I want the output to be kind of more angled this way. Something like that. I think this could work. Can we hook it up to the side? Yeah. That gives us room for one more on the side there. Now this needs to go into a box. Maybe that's too angled. I don't know. Wait, is this... This is all iron here? Oh my god. Dude, we are totally not building this right. Because, I mean, we could set up multiple miners here eventually to expand. Oh god. I'm starting to get a little anxious and overwhelmed with, with how I'm setting this up. And making it as future-proof as possible. But like, yeah, technically you could set up like three miners here, I think. Right? Yeah, see? You can have one there and one here. So we should have like those three all connecting out to somewhere here. And then the full production going that way. Because, well, I mean, it looks like there's enough room over here, but I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know what to think. It's just kind of overwhelming right now. So we're just going to go ahead and try to keep it like we have it now it's too bad that you can't just like lift it up and move it because I really hope I'm not losing all of that material okay no yeah it is I think it is being put in my inventory I didn't have that many plates so now we want to build the constructors And um, let's kind of look this way. So we're, we're going to have multiple going that way. Wow, you can build them pretty much anywhere here. So we'll just start with this side and then build the other way. We need to keep in mind that we're going to have boxes in front of them. So actually what we want is the splitter first. And 
And then now we can run a line to the constructors. We'll just start with one out here with enough room for a box in front of it. Something like that. And this one will be making plates. And we'll get the second one set up next to it. Oh, we need reinforced plates. All right, let's go make that. Oh yeah, let's check on our fuel too, just to make sure we're good here. Wow. I'm loving this biomass fuel. Look at that. We're only halfway through it. That's great. So much better than the raw leaves. Um, what was I doing? Reinforced plates. What do we need? Okay, we need more screws. I'll just make all of this because I feel like we're going to need a lot of reinforced plates. So I think once we set up the iron rod line, that'll be a good place to pause for this episode, since we just passed the 30 minute mark. We did a lot. I think we, we mostly, well, we got the field research down. We actually completed two of them, which is a lot of progress, but we also relayed out this line and I think we're in a better place for like future expansion. Oh, we should connect this to power really quick. Can't be wasting no idle time like that. Come on now. Ah, cables, not enough cables. Oops. Cables. All right. We'll just put this one right next to it. Me that alignment guide yeah so this one we're gonna have producing iron rods make that out to power um okay it's green oh how beautiful is this look at this we have iron rods being produced and now so far it looks like the bottleneck here was removed this is just constantly producing it's not idling at all this is way way more productive now Yeah, I'm not seeing any bottleneck on the ore side. Here, it kind of bottlenecks. But these are really never going idle. It's probably building up. Yeah, so over time, it'll probably slowly build up here. Well, maybe not. No, it actually looks okay. It's pretty stable. It's not hitting the max. Yeah, so I don't think we're bottlenecked here. It's just taking turns to go into the merger. Um, now let's see if we have an excess building up here. No? That's pretty constantly being used up. Yeah, so as it stands, like, this whole line right now has no bottlenecks. 
Oh, one last thing we're going to do before we end this episode is actually build the storage containers really quick. And we'll take these free rods. Oh yeah, look at that. And we'll just build two of these babies. That way, uh, we don't lose any excess that comes out. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. I think we got a lot accomplished. And when we come back in the next episode, we will work towards the next milestone as well as getting that copper line set up so that it's producing multiple parts as well. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I am really loving this game and I'm excited to just continue with the series. And if you are too, please uh, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of the new episodes coming out. I'm probably gonna be releasing new episodes for this series daily since uh, there's minimal editing compared to like other videos so I can just release them a lot quicker and yeah drop a like uh, comment down below what you guys think of of the series and these episodes and the game and I hope to see you in the next one peace